imagine somebody give you a gift, right? And you just don't use the gift. How do you think the person feels? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you know, we live in 2024, 21st century. We're in the postmodern era. Life is all about, you know, go getting what's the next thing you can achieve. You know, we're all about getting our new job, a promotion, the next degree, so forth and so on. So, today we'll be talking about how does God want us to pace our life? So there are several Bible verses in which I would like to share, but before I do that, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being with us, and we thank you for your words through which you communicate with us on a daily basis and help to guide our lives. Forgive us of our sins, dear Father, in your son's name, amen. So one of the verses that I want to share with you guys today is from Jeremiah 31, verse 25, and it reads, I have given rest to the weary and joy to the sorrowing, and holidays in which they were expected to rest and the rest of the land not only the human beings but the animals were expected to rest the, the slaves the strangers and all these um the, um the fields even was expected to rest at a certain point in time so it's important that we today in such a fast pace will remember that rest is important because if you don't rest then you won't even be able to achieve as much as you can potentially achieve another verse that we'll look at today is psalms 127 verse 2 and it reads, it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. Right? So it's so important that imagine somebody give you a gift, right? And you just don't use the gift. How do you think the person feels? That's how God feels because God has given us rest. And it's important for us to take that gift of rest. You know, God don't even need rest. You know, he's God. But he <laughs> knows that it's, it's so important for us. To be productive um so it, he knows that resting is an important part of being productive right and it's also a part of the time that we set aside to reflect on his creation and we will see this in deuteronomy 5 verse 12 to 14 and as we know deuteronomy means you know repeating of the law so this is really talking about you know the ten commandments specifically the sabbath commandment and it says the serve the sabbath day by keeping it holy as the Lord your God has commanded you. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, <clears throat> your oxen and donkeys, and other livestock, and any foreigners living among you. All your male and female servants must rest as you do. God is only asking for one, one out of seven, right? I remember when I never used to, to keep the Sabbath and, you know, I, it was so hard for me to not study or prepare for an exam or just your regular duty. It's almost so it's impossible. Like, how can I do all these things in just six days? But when you really start to honor the Sabbath, you realize that the Lord will bless you. And it has changed my life tremendously you know i look forward to the sabbath day because i know that that 24 hour period i don't have to worry about any projects any work nothing you know you just kind of sit back with your family worship god and just remember all his goodness and grace so in terms of my field of work you know you you see patients who are having all these issues with their health and you know they're always working hard they never find time to incorporate the rest and rest is such an important part in, in healing process, right? So a lot of people, they have from mental health issues to even physical health issues, right? Because if they just don't rest. They're working two or three jobs. They're trying to pay the bill. And I know that, you know, the economy is, is rough and everything, but we have to find time to rest because it's important for our overall health. And if you're not healthy, then what, what's going on? They said the health is your greatest wealth. So if you don't put your health or you prioritize your health, then in the long run, you're going to work, work, work just to pay the medical bills and it doesn't make any sense. So it's, it's so important from just a holistic point of view to incorporate rest in our regular daily routine. So today, remember, we know we live in a very fast-paced world and we're always looking for the next big thing to achieve. Let's incorporate rest as an important part of our lives, you know, because God really wants us to pace our lives. He doesn't want us to go 24 hours, seven days a week, 30 days a month, 365 years without taking, 365 days a year without taking any break. 
So remember to pay to your life today and have a blessed day.